Simon's got Social them. skills. Why do you have a party like you just threw, Ty Lopez? Why do you do it? Well, let's backtrack for a second. With James Swanick, he brought his woman. And I said, James, haven't you ever seen Scarface? First you get the money, then you get the power, then you bring the women. Well, you were distracted. What are you Listen, talking about? You should have been networking. This, this woman, this woman, he is no. making the money. Ooh, <laughs> He's making this is not true. <laughs> <laughs> this is no longer going up on YouTube. <laughs> James, first you get the first money. You get, first you get the money. Then you get the power. Then you get the woman. And and you can't bring the woman <laughs> no. that distracted you. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh. Well, that we good. This YouTube video has gone to hell, really, hasn't it? <laughs> no, this kind of video does better. Did you see Owens here? Yeah, I saw Owens. Yeah, he followed me before. And if, so, you, what and was if you so badly want to, want, want to be in this company, why are you not wearing it? Because James is too pretty. If I wear them, then it, it, it hurts the brand. Thanks for coming. Really? I call bullshit. <laughs> I'm Come on! I call. And you're supposed to do it two or three hours before you sleep. That's right. <laughs> so, so what, what's the main thing that we learn from throwing a party and being the host of a party? When I do it, people seem to like always want to do things for me afterwards or connect me or help me. But that a lot of people appreciate, even if you don't directly introduce someone, just right. being like the host right, and, and providing the venue for it. Is that is that yeah, what I you hope, felt? I hope people got value business wise. I hope people met people they wouldn't normally meet so that was kind of the goal you know put name to a face too there's a lot of people that dm me on instagram but i don't necessarily know them so you do it you do that's one of the things i like about in-person things if you always do everything digitally online um it's hard to differentiate between people people just blur together if you can meet people for five, even five minutes, now you know you put a name to a face. So I hired two people tonight. I hired really? two people to do something. Yeah, and literally it was just an innocuous conversation. I was like, "Hey, what's your story? What do you do?" And the person told me, and I went, "Great, I'm going to hire you for this." And then ten minutes later, I ran into someone else who does copywriting. I went, "Bang! I want you to do this." And we shook on it, and so I'm going to do. He's going to send me an invoice. I'm going to pay him. I'm going to do it. It was just like that. In the space of ten minutes, I did two deals. Can I work for you? Yeah. <laughs> I need some. You gotta work for it, Ty. You gotta work for it. After this party. So there you, you go. Drink so much alcohol. <laughs> yeah, James you. did it though, because he's on thirty days no alcohol challenge. That's right. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Good party, Ty. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate. It. Let me shake let's your hand. Let's, let's Thanks, bud. Let's, let's do. Let's do oh, can I shake? Yeah, yeah. There you go. Well, let's Bye. do. Let's do one for my snap here. All right. James, what makes you such a good business networker? Uh, always talk in the other person's interest. Take a genuine interest in other people. I like that. Cool. All right, how do you meet people at a party? Like the Golden Globes, for example, in Beverly Hills. I'm here with Ty Lopez. How are you, Ty? How are you? I got my bow tie on. Yeah, 